when she can find no more surfaces to wipe and has finally exhausted the supply of rooms, Maddie assigns her to do the kitchen floor. Okay, except that Mrs. W is in the kitchen, so she has to go down on her hands and knees, practically at Mrs. W's feet. No, they don't have sponge mops like the one she uses in her own house. The hands and knees approach is a definite selling point for corporate cleaning services like the maids. We clean floors the old-fashioned way on our hands and knees, the brochure for a competing firm boasts. In fact, whatever advantages there may be to the hands and knees approach, you're closer to your work, of course, and less likely to miss a grimy patch, are undermined by the artificial drought imposed by the maid's cleaning system. They are instructed to use less than half a small bucket of lukewarm water for a kitchen and all adjacent scrubbable floors, meaning that within a few minutes, they are doing nothing more than redistributing the dirt evenly around the floor. There are occasional customer complaints about the cleanliness of their floors. For example, from a man who wiped up a spill on his freshly cleaned floor, only to find the paper towel he employed for this purpose had turned gray. A mop and a full bucket of hot soapy water would not only get a floor cleaner, but would be a lot more dignified for the person who does the cleaning. But it is this primal posture of submission, and of what is ultimately anal accessibility, that seems to gratify the consumers of maid services. Mrs. W's floor is hard, stone, or at least a stone-like substance, and she has no knee pads with her today. She had thought in her middle-class innocence that knee pads were one of Monica Lewinsky's prurient fantasies, but no, they actually exist, and they're usually a standard part of their equipment. So here she is, on her knees, working her way around the room like some fanatical penitent crawling through the Stations of the Cross, when she realizes that Mrs. W is staring at her fixedly, so fixedly that she is gripped for a moment by the wild possibility that she may have once given a lecture at her alma mater, that she's trying to figure out where she's seen her before. If she were recognized, would she be fired? Would Mrs. W at least be inspired to offer her a drink of water? because she has decided that if water is actually offered, she's taking it, rules or no rules. And if word of this infraction gets back to Ted, she'll just say she thought it would be rude to refuse. Not to worry, though. Mrs. W is just watching that she doesn't leave out some stray square inch. And when she rises painfully to her feet again, blinking through the sweat, Mrs. W says, Could you just scrub the floor in the entryway while you're at it? 